Hi, my name is Michelle. I am the Boston area dietitian for Calm Clinic, and I'm here uh, with you today to talk a little bit more about something that Elena has referenced in many of her YouTube videos and her TikTok videos. Um, but that is your set point theory. So I'm hoping to provide just a little bit more information about that so you guys have a better understanding of it um, and we can talk more about it in other videos, communication, all that good stuff. So. The set point theory of weight has to do with this idea that the body over time has evolved a particular weight or weight range that it feels is optimal. Um, and the reason that we think that that's happening is because we see that the body has a very complex energy regulation system. So it uh, mostly is comprised of your brain, your endocrine system, and your digestive system. Those three systems in your body are constantly working, communicating with each other, um, have receptors, hormones, neurotransmitters, and other signal signaling components. Um, and they're all in concert with each other, constantly monitoring how much food is coming in, what we have available for energy stores or body fat stores. Um, and they are adjusting and making these fine tuning, yeah, fine tuning adjustments based on um, what type of food is coming in, how much, how frequently, etc. Um, and so these three systems will adjust your metabolic rate, um, they'll adjust your appetite, they'll adjust your fullness signals, and all of this is in service to maintaining this particular set point range. There have been studies that look at what, how the metabolism and how your energy regulation system responds when you increase your intake. So if you were to increase your intake by about 10%, what we would see in studies is that your metabolic rate in return bumps up about 15% to burn through that extra energy a little bit more efficiently. And then similarly, if you were to under eat by 10%, what happens is that the metabolism will actually drop a little bit, conserve of energy not burn as much because there isn't an, as much available until then you're able to return to kind of a normal baseline eating and then the metabolism as well will return to its normal baseline and we see that the body will give you these hunger and fullness cues and guide your appetite with an accuracy of 99.9 percent .9 to the amount of calories that your body needs to fuel your normal everyday metabolic rate that would mean if your energy regulation system is causing you or guiding you to eat exactly the amount of nutrition that your metabolism needs to function through the day, that whatever body stores you have or whatever body fat you have is going to maintain at a pretty similar rate, right? So if we have this really um, complex and really intricate and extremely accurate way that the body detects and makes changes to um, our food intake, our appetite, our fullness, and our body fat stores uh, and our metabolism, why do we see that A, you can go on a diet and lose weight, or B, that people overall seem to sometimes struggle with their weight or feel like they're not at their set point or whatever a comfortable weight would be for them? And one of the things is because long-term changes to diet and intake are one of many things that can throw off this energy regulation system. There are other studies right now that are looking also into medications or environmental toxins or potentially other outside factors that could be affecting some of this hormonal signaling in the body. Um, but for our purposes at Calm Clinic, one of the things that we see most often that throws people off of this set point regulation is a history of dieting and, and low intake and what we see from our metabolic uh, testing and body composition testing um, that we then can see and understand through this prism of energy regulation is that long-term low intake or cycles through low intake and then high intake over time are going to throw off the cell signaling, the, the receptor communication, um, and the hormone and neurotransmitter uh, con uh, connections in the body. So 
we essentially start to erode that system. And that system then doesn't have a good sense of how much food you're getting. When are you gonna get food again? If you get food again, how much is it gonna be? And if you get food again, is that gonna continue or is it gonna be deprived again? Um, and then in that place, it also can lose sight or sense of how much body store it has or how much energy stores it has available. So does it need to store more? Is it allowed to or allowed to um, burn through more of that body fat without feeling that it's kind of going going into that critical starvation state. So when our body starts to lose track, it's kind of flying blind. And in that place, we often can see drastic weight loss. We sometimes see drastic or rapid weight regain. We often see issues around energy, just fatigue, napping during the day, um, feeling really hungry or feeling like very shaky or dizzy or irritable. Or there's a lot of physical symptoms that can go with this um, unregulated energy met metabolism and energy regulation state. So the number one treatment that we really work with our clients on is getting back to adequate intake. So feeding your body enough based on the metabolic testing that we do, understanding that that's what the body needs to function optimally. And no matter your body size, no matter what experience you've had up to that point, it's extremely important to this energy regulation system that you start giving it consistent, predictable, and and trusting cues again so that your body can start to um, get those signals flowing again and get everything back online so that ultimately your metabolism can return to normal. Hopefully all of that cell signaling can return to normal functioning and your body can get back to its homeostatic weight. And so one of the things or one of the alternatives to dieting that we really try to educate people on um, is this idea of intuitive eating and that's going to lead us into the next video um, intuitive eating can be a great way to be on your body's side and helping your body maintain homeostasis and weight regulation so that your body's at the the optimal size that it thinks it should be for its own survival um, so we're going to get into that in the next video we're going to talk a little bit about what it is and what it's helpful for and we're also going to talk about what it isn't and how sometimes it can be skewed into something that maybe won't help with this energy regulate regulation and weight homeostasis stasis in the future. So I hope that clears up a little bit about uh, weight regulation, set point theory, homeostasis of um, energy in the body. If you have any questions below or any reactions below, please leave us a comment and I will see you in the next one. We'll talk about uh, intuitive eating. Um, take care. See you then.